Fish Games. What's going on, guys? Fish Games here, and we've got our boy Maggie's the Bargain opening up some old school magical cards. What are they? They are Hyborian Gates, a game where magic and technology meet. And so the uh, collation of these cards in these packs is a little different than in most card games. They are not marked in terms of rarity. So I'm going to put uh, some of them right side up and some of them up upside down for you. So these are limited edition. Um, some of the, the packs are, uh, there's only 1,000 God packs and that's like 15 um, ultra rares. Um, so we'll, op we'll open the first pack and I'll show you what I mean. So this would be one of the ultra rares. Nice centering on that. She who watches right there. And uh, these two are gonna be your rares. Um, these four are your uncommons. This is your gate card, your pyramid card, and a bunch of commons right there. So um, <laughs> the video would go really long if I, if I slowed down on this. So that's why I'm speeding through this. But this is um, some beautiful artwork. That's that's a hit that I'm I'm taking out. I'm gonna get that hopefully signed by Mr. Boris Vallejo. And um, yeah, I really like the art of these cards. And um, the rules are pretty much incomprehensible. That's that's why a Magic won out over it. I think, and and it's also because a lot of these. Um, where art, a lot of this art was inappropriate for the age group that we were when this was being released in 1995. I'm sure people who started playing in 1995 are old enough to buy this, this stuff now, but it was not the case then. But you know what? Magic had like demons and stuff on it, so it wasn't that much different. I was talking to Boris um, at an art show, and he said, and I asked him if he had painted any magic cards, and he said, I'd painted a lot of magic cards, which is, you know, he, he, was, he was joking around. He, he never actually was employed by Wizards of the Coast to, to paint a card. I don't know why they didn't, they didn't um, get him in there, but he did model for um, two cards. Um, what is it? Heartless Summoning, that's his face, and uh, as a zombie, and Cultivate. Yes, that famous Cultivate that is at the top of EDH Rec. That's him as well, that's his hand. But he didn't actually uh, paint that, that was, um, I forget the name of the artist, you can look it up. And shout out in the comments below. So yeah, some of these cards are like upside down, you were saying? Yeah, they, this is the, the ultra rares up here, the rares uh, right here, the uncommons uh, right here, and the, um, the gates and the pyramids and these are punch out pyramids, by the way, and the so commons. Are there any foil cards? There are no foil cards, and that's how I like it. I like my cards to be flat and not pringled. Oh yeah, and then there's a join, a, be a Hyperborean Gates Trooper. I wonder if that's still valid. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably, no. but you never know. You could send it in, and and someone could be could be there watching. Oh, this is this is funny. This is this is right side up. Um, sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna. No, I'm not going to put this aside. So sometimes they, they, they flip it by accident um, in the factory. I got an ultra rare that was upside down by accident. But there's some really funny names on this. I'm, I'm going to um, point them out when, when we come to them. So at the end of the video, we'll show you the rare issues, other things, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if you... Mershi. <laughs> That's a great name. Yeah, the reason I, 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 would, I would go through these slowly, but then you, you wouldn't want to watch a, a well, really maybe slow Maybe we video. could do a slower one next video or something. We could go <laughs> slow through this pack. Knight's Cloak. We got these Dragons of Ott. Serpent City. Mertians. Who knows? Might, people might be watching this to uh, just see the art of the cards. Oh, yeah. Art, not, of, <laughs> art of the cards. Art of the cards! <laughs> The art, the art of the cards is, is where, where it really is at. I've seen some pretty off-center cards, uh, but some are more on-center. And I never really understood why um, grading companies um, found it so important, the, the centering of a card, until um, I saw <laughs> Ivorian Gates with their off-center. Okay. No, I should not. Oh, okay. So this is one of the hits that I was looking for, the Doris Gate. 
was a Waypoint Portal and uh, Sorcery, the Waypoint port Portal uh, promo that we paid like $10 to get it shipped to us and paid lots, like 400 dust, which is the equivalent of four booster boxes, like this is $1,000 worth of dust. Um, so yeah, that's that's cool to have um, the same art on a on a ancient card. We got like the Ten Commandments, so that's great. Look at that. So um, yeah, these are different dimensions. It crossed over sci-fi, fantasy, just all different worlds. Knight's Teacher. So I'm keeping them upside down so that I can uh, actually, for, for my own sanity, I can know um, <laughs> which are my commons, which are uncommons, and my R2s and R1s, which I'll call uh, the rares and the ultra rares. Because that's how they appear on the print sheet. Um, we have this appearing once on the rare sheet, these guys appearing twice on the rare sheet, um, these ones appearing at the uncommon rarity. I don't know how the common sheets are cut. Um, and these are the, the common rarity. I don't know why this is uh, upside down. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, so that when I'm going through it, if it's not actually common, if it slid in from somewhere else, then I will know. Okay. Light bringers, a light skate. Did you enter the contest? Oh, yeah. Earth Riser. Yeah, they could have printed a collector box of this and then put all the ultra rares in that and then the, that would completely ruin the chase. <laughs> But no, I'm opening these because I'm a fan of the artist and he's a real character. Oh yeah, this is uh, one of the last defenders. That was um, one of the Rudy promos right there. So you can see it. Yep. It's there. So basically I saw that this, someone wanted $20 for that on eBay. And I was like, that's, a, that's an uncommon. <laughs> so I might as well just open a box. Get all these other cards as well. So you got another one of them again? Yeah. Nice. I, got, I got two out of the last box. Okay, and this is a Golden Axe. So I'm going to pull that out to show you. Awesome. That was like Even a that was video our... game, right? Golden Axe is, is one of the best uh, Sega games. Yeah. And, and it's a, a video game, an arcade game as well. You should play Golden Axe if you haven't played it yet. I definitely played it a long time ago. And this is another uh, card that I was looking for, the Ivory Lady. Um, so that is going to be right over here as a hit right there. Feline is the, that's the cat from this, as you can see. Loki's Gate. So these, the rarities of these I'll look up later because, um, yeah, this is, this is an ultra rare. Um, it was a, it was an illustration for, <clears throat> not a book, but a, a sticker that goes in the front of the book and you put your name on it. I got a bunch of those signed by Mr. Boris Vallejo and another Doris's Gate. So I think that if uh, Sorcery decides to make other promos, then um, some of these unnamed these unknown cards will will become hits so um, that's another reason why I wanted to get a set of these so that I would have them and the art looks cool and I also want to learn how to play the game because even though it will be very confusing to learn how to play this game I think it will be rewarding you think it will be confusing oh yeah because um why is that? So to resolve combat in my magic player's brain, what you have to do is you have to switch the, um, the power and toughness. And then if both uh, creatures would live, they both die. Yeah, you flip, you, you switch power and toughness of both creatures. Um, just because of how the rules are different than magic in order for it to not be confusing for... Um, 
trying to find a creature with, with power and toughness to, to explain that. At least that's how I understand how people were explaining the rules to me. I may be completely wrong. And it may work exactly like magic. Yeah, this is an interesting uh, painting right there. But it's only half a painting. Some of the some of these um, are only part of the art, as you see this this lion right there. So, Mark in defense. That looks like Mark Hamill, doesn't it? In defense. There's another Last Defenders right there. So they're not that rare, but you see all these lists of people on eBay and they have this card sold out. I think oh. it's because of the, <clears throat> the, the art, because it's the same art as, the, as this uh, sorcery promo, which is much, much harder to get. I don't know. It so may be the, other versions. Using that to like proxy it or something. What do you mean? <laughs> like they're using this Amazon Warriors to proxy. To proxy Amazon Warriors? It's well, Amazon Warriors. It's it's a common card anyway. Yeah. So that, so they wouldn't need to, to proxy that. Everyone who plays Sorcery they has has Am Amazon Warriors. It just wasn't because of the art. Yeah. Yeah, you think like magic players sometimes don't care anything about art. They could they could be playing with uh, pho um, photocopied black and white Calvin and Hobbes. We saw how medicine did. Well, <laughs> <laughs> some people actually like that art. I'm just joking around. I actually, after I had the cards in my hand, the medicine art wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, I'm just I'm just surprised that the. Some artists are underpaid. All, all artists are underpaid, in my opinion. They illustrate your world. We illustrate your world. They illustrate our world. Snake minions. Dragon Riders. So there are no numbers on these cards. I'm going to have to alphabetize them. I'm going to have to learn my ABCs. <laughs> Comment in the chat if you can type all the letters in order. I know the QWERTY keyboard makes it hard. No, I would be surprised at how many people don't, don't know the order of the alphabet backwards and forwards. Look, this is a Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, there's like seven different dimensions in this game. You thought, oh, this, this guy's called himself. Himself. <laughs> Wingling. <laughs> I wonder if he has a brother. It'd be the Wingling Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Typhus. Look at that. The 3 2. See this? This is a 3 2. In battle, you should think of it as a 2 3, which, um, if it would, they would both survive. If a 2 3 versus a 2 3, they would both die. But this is not a learn to play video. Because I don't know how to play. How would you learn to play from me? <laughs> a vampire moon. Lights godling. So no god packs. No god packs, but I, I like this box. I think I think we got two Doris Gate, two Last Defenders, um, a feline, and um, another Ivory Lady, and a Royal Inspection. So um, and and a Golden Axe. So 
yeah, this is this is an even better box than last box. Um, why don't you go show them the rares and stuff? And these like these go. are the ultra rares right here. So they're, they a closer look. There's at the 36 art. of these. We can go through these really slowly. These are the ones I'm going to sleeve. Probably. Yeah, it's totally Luke Skywalker right here. Mark Hamill in defense. <laughs> I mean, the art's definitely cool. The art is great. There's and and the layout, the it's 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 pretty much full frame. I just wish it would be the the whole painting on each card and not uh, cut up into to different. Um, you know, trying they're trying to skimp on the art and the the centering on on this this kind of stuff. It looks like they the people making the borders they they didn't really take the artist seriously, and that's that's an important thing um, when you're doing something is to take it seriously. I'll show them some of those ones. Respect. Yeah. Uh, some of these ones. Some of these ones. This is, um, these are our rares. There are two of the rares per pack. Himself. Death Rider. Tun. Dragon Riders of Opt. I mean, it's really cool art. It's, th this art was, uh, Licensed Zapper. I'm, I know I recognize this from somewhere. Um, it was licensed uh, from Boris Vallejo uh, after he, he'd already used it. Um, yeah, it's too bad we don't have the full painting of this. Because that's a really nice painting. <laughs> Uncaring Fiend. Those are the producers of this game. <laughs> Look at this, just like regular everyday clo 90s clothing. Um, not likely. That's what she says. <laughs> With the castle and the dragons. And it's all these different art styles. It's great. The, 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 the cropping is kind of weird. We got spaceships. And we, we got this guy in jeans and a tank top. Just like at the gym. Bar folk. It's the folk that you find at the bar, I guess. <laughs> Well, if you're hopping from dimension to dimension, then then our dimension is going to be part of it, right? So it's kind of cool that they incorporated modern um, uh, modern world, but I guess the the fans weren't weren't there for it. Lightning striker, just a hand holding lightning. Attack. So it adds two to the strength. Um, it also adds two to the strength and toughness. So it's a plus two, plus two. Nice. So you just have to know these things. <laughs> I'm a bar folk, and I know things. Well, thanks for uh, making this old school video for us, uh, for their entertainment. Max of the Bargain. I wonder if this is still a... Uh... Oh, no, it expires September 30th, 1995. Yeah, I think uh, we're almost 30 years behind on that one. Yeah, if anyone wants to mail them some fan mail, you can... Uh, if you're a retailer, you can return this form to cards distribution in texas <laughs> if you guys like this video please leave us a like comment and subscribe if you want to help the channel out we do have a patreon and check out more of a dork on etsy he makes some unofficial sensei divine type top things like this and other stuff see you guys all in the next one peace